Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. I'm super excited for this design. I think it's a very cute Valentine's design and uh, it's not hard and we're gonna kind of practice our uh, balloon distortion. So let's just start. I'm gonna show you first the picture. Look at that picture. I was looking for ideas and again, the best uh, what I think that I do to, you know, have ideas on, for different themes is like I go to Google and I type, for example, Valentine's cute ideas or just Valentine's or cute Valentine's and you will see and then you click image. So you're just going to see a lot of different images and that's what I do and it works great all these years. So I did this again because I was thinking what to, what to share with all of you. So I just went and saw one picture and this one was super cute. Look, look at that picture. You see that teddy bear? Now, remember, it's not going to be exactly the same and it's okay because also I, I'm planning to make that the video and the design, you know, easier and not complicated and not add more details. But always you can do that. You can add more details to that design and make it your own design, which is awesome. And this is what I did. Look at this. The best part, I love it. It can sit by itself and that's something really cool, but also it can be attached anywhere you want. A candy cup, why not? Um, head pen, uh, what, is, uh, what is the other things? Bracelets, or just like this. Look at this, so cute thing, I love it. Now, I don't have, you know, details for the ears, like another color here, and it's okay. And the same with the paws, you know, but my, um, Sometimes you have to kind of focus or think what characteristics you want to grab from that original design on Google and make it into your balloon. So for me, my favorite thing was that the, it was holding the heart and it's Valentine's and look at that phrase, right? The phrase, I'm going to post it on my Instagram with that phrase, um, that the bear I couldn't bear, I couldn't bear without you, something like that, right? So I like it. So this is what it is. Very simple Sharpie. And look, the nose, it's red and because it's sharp, it doesn't look like much. So I was thinking to use my dollar stickers from the dollar store and just grab one of those red hearts or pink or purple and put it on the nose. So that's what we're gonna do. Are you ready to start this tutorial? I'm super excited. I love it. And best part, if you don't have brown, use the colors you have. If you have pink, purple, green, why not? Just try it. Because also it's a, like, the idea to practice. Let's start this technique. And there's something really cool that I like it. So it's something maybe um, new. Let's see. But if you learn this part, you can make it for different other animals that are sitting. So pay attention. I'm going to leave it right here. And we're going to start first with a 350 brown. Yeah, that's what 350 is more like we have all the colors. So if you don't have brown, but it's a very basic color and 350s, use the color you have. So this 350, you want to inflate it, eight finger tail. And you... And you're going to start measuring like approximately eight finger uh, bubble twist and another eight finger bubble. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Connect it there, you know, lock it. Now you're going to make like, um, what is this part? Like a regular head for a tiger or teddy bear or, you know, this animal. So it's going to be like four or a hand, you see? Finger bubble and then another like ears. I like like three finger bubble. And then you're gonna make another four finger bubble or a hand. And then another three finger bubble. And then another a hand or four finger bubble, whatever you wanna call this. So you have this. Okay, so make sure this one is the same size as that one or give it more air in case you feel like uh, because the idea is you want straight as much as you can, you know, the head. So you don't want something like this. <laughs> Unless you want that, that's okay. It's... And then you just twist it together, pass this around. And from here, you can start already making a pinch twist with the rest. So you just kind of grab like a squishable bubble like a three finger because this is a three finger balloon and you make a pinch twist and the rest you just pop and pass it around so i'm gonna don't use my teeth i'm gonna use my pin and that just suck it and that's it so i have all that and you can tie it with the beginning or you can just pass it around because there's gonna be more balloons passing around so um 
that connection so that's good so you have this now what else you're gonna grab and make pinch twist to the ears so just do that and this is what i do i just grab these two longer bubbles and squish it together there and then i pull and twist the, the smaller bubble the ear pull and twist and that's kind of the trick i learned that so i think it works so look this is what you are gonna have all with the 350. Now, next balloon is going to be a balloon scrap. So that's mean a little piece that you have. This is a balloon scrap of a blush. If you don't have blush, you can try other colors similar, maybe even pink, why not? So play with the colors you have. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and you're gonna measure like approximately four finger bubble, okay? And when you have that four finger bubble, you're gonna kind of tie it. Look, this is the, a good thing to make, you know, the, the mouth for bears or dogs even, or, you know, these cute animals. So you just tie it in the center, in the back. So that's what I'm gonna do. See, it's like a little pinch twist, but not so tight. Don't pull too much because you don't wanna lose this cute shape. It's like a rectangle idea that is gonna be the mouth. Okay, now you can cut this, but leave a little bit of balloon, like a four finger here, and cut the balloon. So leave some tape, uh, tip, leave it there because you're just gonna, the pinch twist is gonna be in the back. And my hair is there. And you just have to pass this through here and pull and pass it through around the pinch twist and the neck. So this is just right there, and it's not all the way you know in the center it's okay because the pinch twist is down so you just know like you have something connected right here right you know right here no it's down and it's okay that's why you have a longer tip so you pull but it still have some space in between you don't want that to be too tight you will see why you will see why so you have this it's already looking like a teddy bear don't you think now next step we're gonna grab a 160 so you notice it that if i'm using brown for this teddy bear i'm using 350 brown 160 brown and 260 brown so if you don't have brown go with any other color that you have 160 350 and 260 160 you know what i mean okay <laughs> maybe you can try 260 instead of 160 this time but let's see show me if it works because this is just the first time i just saw the picture i made it this is my first try and i love it awesome let's keep going so from here um we're gonna make what is gonna be the arms you know and part of the, the the body so what i did is this balloon 160 is inflated like six finger tail or five and you're gonna start making a loop like approximately three finger loop okay three, three finger loop you lock that and then you're gonna make a like approximately two finger pinch twist yes then you're going to measure here like three finger bubble or two and a half and you're going to make a loop and that's the tricky part because i didn't measure the loop but the loop is going to be all around i'm just going to make sure kind of like having the idea how big is going to be the loop something like this you're going to make a loop like this you see so that loop is approximately let me see like a nine finger loop approximately okay things doesn't have to be perfect that's fine you know and also why you try because the thing is i say oh three finger you know three finger it's the the size of your fingers and probably your fingers are skinnier than mine or you know bigger <laughs> so it depends what it is you know so you you just have to practice and kind of have the idea and the thing is if the size is different it's fine why because it can give it some different character you know to your design okay so you have this and remember what i say it's like a pros this loop is like a nine finger loop okay in my case and then you're gonna have to finish this and go with the same idea here so what i did here oh but before you do that the other arm this is the thing we're gonna grab this and this is gonna pass around the mouth so all around Okay, and that is gonna be, let me see if I twist it, let me see. It's gonna be approximately that loop, like six finger loop, 
okay so if this is nine finger loop and this is six finger loop and is if it cannot twist it's okay this part you can fix it but the idea is when you pass this loop you already pass it through here so it's already locked there so i'm gonna just close all this and here you just have to make the pinch twist it just came undone so make sure you have it there and now it looks kind of like oh Cecilia, you're complicating yourself but no but no, pay attention yes and, and and you can always you know make this slower or go you know forward or back and repeat but you have this now from here you need just the next arm that is going to be like three finger bubble i should tie my hair right what i'm doing and then you're gonna make like a two and a half or three finger loop right three finger loop and then a two finger pinch twist and that's all now this part you cut it you have this little excess maybe you can use it in a moment you will see why or how you will see that in a moment tie it pass it around make sure you tie it because you don't want this to get untied so there's not gonna be any other balloon passing through these points so i'm gonna just tie my hair sorry <laughs> okay now i tie my hair it's done we just need here the the heart and that's what we're gonna do now so what is the heart it's a five inch round balloon and then you just need a red you know because unless you want the heart to be another color so it's up to you but i'm using red heart but this is a five inch round so it's not a heart and this it's a 160 that you just have to split it in half so you split it in half and from here you have two hearts if you want to make but we just grab one side and you uh the better you know the one that is already this part because you need to fold it in half like this and then introduce it to the five inch round just like this look at this look at this pew, pew, pew. now it's there now you have to inflate what you inflate first this time i recommend inflate the five inch round why because also you will see if it had a hole you know so that you don't have to keep going if it, this one you have to change it but you inflate them almost all the way okay even if you want the heart bigger okay and then you inflate the 160 inside so that's why you use one side that you inflate the 160 and for that it's better if you have your uh, pump special for 160s that i have it but i don't know where i put it if you don't have that you can also use your legenda also with this but it's a little bit more complicated because you have to stretch and takes longer uh but i'm going to use the legenda but i have it right here so you are not able to see this because the angle of the camera it's you know not showing everything i wish but i can't i don't have so that's what i'm trying to do right now and i'm gonna show you probably this way oh my goodness i inflated it. i didn't want to so look at that it's already connected there and now i just have to kind of maybe use my chest and inflate it and and look i inflated almost from here all the way up and came in a loop inside the 160 right so you now you don't want that to be too tight so you lose some air and then you tie it so approximately i'm gonna here i will let you know one moment so i cut i tie and look all this is like a pedal but if you push it like this it's all about what is this eight plus like three it's approximately 11 you know finger long okay and that's okay i cut the excess i tied it already the 160 so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna inflate again the five inch round not all but the idea is i inflated it because what i'm playing is i'm gonna lose the air of the five inch round but while squishing in the center that i'm trying to make the shape you know when i'm squishing in the center to make the shape you see like this and kind of like playing with that and then you can always open and accommodate things but this is something i noticed and i was thinking hmm, this is a new, uh, maybe a new technique to tell me in the comments if you ever made this before or seen it before so look it's not a perfect shape but people will see that oh, it's a heart especially on valentine's so now from here you don't have to tie this yet this part 
Uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna, you're gonna feel, and that's what, what happened to me. I feel, and because already I deflated a five inch round, I have a space like a skin, you know, here. And I was thinking, you can have a racing bean. What is a racing bean? Is when you tie a balloon four or three times at the same place. So I'm gonna show you. I have here, for example, a balloon, and I'm gonna tie it like this. I'm gonna, oops, it should be easier. So you see that part, and you're gonna tie it more. And one more time and it can make this little thing and that's what you're gonna use so it's a way to do that oh, I lost it uh, it fell down but I have a lot because the thing is I keep you know a couple here a bunch so you just grab one of these and pay attention this is like pay attention because <laughs> look this loss of skin so I kind of find the point right here that I feel is low and I'm gonna squish and kind of Push it inside from the outside. That's cool, right? So push it inside. Grab some of the five-inch round five and some of it and with a with a little racing bin that I, we made and we twist it. So and then when you have that, you just have to grab a balloon scrap. Remember, we have this left over that is the one sixty. We can use it. Oh, if I don't think that's enough. So that's what I'm looking here. If I have another balloon scrap. In my case, at least if you have this, I think will be better. So you're gonna tie it kind of approximately in the center. So use the center, why? You will see why. But try to use the middle because we're gonna kind of strangulate the teddy bear. So that's what I'm tying right now. So that's our connector. And the thing is, if this looks ugly to you, it's okay. Nobody's gonna see it because it's gonna be with the teddy bear right here. So now we have all this. Let's attach it. So remember I say keeps, you know, this part two sides because this is what I'm planning to do. I'm going to open the arms and I'm going to grab the heart and I'm going to open each of these pink, you know, like I did, you know, I don't know if you can see, you see, and then I'm going to strangle all around and it's going to be tighter here. So that's what kind of I recommend you to use as a, a longer 160 balloon, you know, to tie that part. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna show you because I should use a longer balloon scrub. <laughs> if you don't do that, it's gonna be a little bit harder. So that's what, as longer as that balloon, it's gonna be better and easier to tie. But um, yeah, it's not impossible. So now, you see, it's connected all there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the arms Open the arms and kind of start, you know, accommodating things. Open the arms and look, this part, it's this thing, it's gonna be connected all the way to this, to this part, the 350. So that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling, I'm just passing around, you know, it's gonna get it stuck there. You don't have to tie it because I already have the nozzle there, so that's gonna be okay. And you can leave that nozzle there. Okay, now, what else? What else from here? You have this balloon and you have this space, you see? Uh-huh, that space in between the heart and the brown balloons. You're gonna now have, need the 260 brown, mocha brown. Yep, so now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna inflate the mocha brown approximately this. What is this? Eight finger tail? No, seven doesn't matter. <laughs> you will need it for the arm and the nose, and that's it. So let's start making a loop. How big? Well, I like the paws to be bigger than the, the little hands. Hmm? So, um, and also because it's bigger size. So this is approximately like three and, or three and a half loop. You lock them and then you make a pinch twist like a two and a half or two finger round pinch twist and then you are gonna you know just pass it like this the way it is and you just pass it in between so that's what I'm gonna do in between the heart and all the browns you see okay so I need to also see so that way because you have to pull and kind of like accommodate that's why you squish, you know, the balloon, squish. So that part is size softer, but you don't have to twist it. You can leave that space in between, like a two finger space here. It's up to you. 
and then you just kind of like measure that and make the other leg okay and the other leg is again two finger space here and make the loop like a three finger loop and then uh using your bubble pinch twist and that's it you cut i don't have my cutter here i have a cutter here you cut and don't get rid of this or uh the thing is we just need a little bubble but look this is what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna this make sure you tie it that the, the part and the feet Okay, make sure you tie it. I'm gonna just leave it for a moment, but then I'm gonna tie it. And look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure I approximate this tail, and I'm gonna start losing the air by leaving that tail and just making sure I have this kind of like a space here and tie it. That is gonna be the nose. So I'm gonna tie that. You can use another color, but because already we have this, you know, left over, that why not use it? That's what I thought. And then you just cut this little piece so then we don't have air there. So we have this. And now when we have that, that's the nose. Look where it's gonna go. It's gonna go between the blush and this 160. All these two together. But when as soon as you pass it here, you have to separate. So one each other again. You see? And each one is gonna be attached, making some pressure to uh, you know to make sure that. The whole blush and 160s, you know, hold together with the 350 brand. Okay, so now I pull it, make some pressure there, pass it around, lock it to this ear. Now the same the other side. And, and we're almost there. And I hope you like it, this design, this technique. I don't think it's hard, but it's all about practice. So if you think, oh, Cecilia, you think your design is too complicated, Tell me in the comments because I know for some people my tutorials are uh, maybe too advanced. But look, I, I'm sure, and this is something that you cannot deny. It's like I'm making all these uh, designs with super awesome, cool techniques. And look at how cute. Okay, and this is what I'm going to show you how cute it looks, how cute it looks, and it doesn't have the sharpie yet. So this is the thing, I made so simple, basic sharpie. And there's lots of you that are amazing, but, um, what is, face painter, uh, artist, or just, you know, very good people for drawing, coloring. I'm not, but um, you can try, you know, and take your time, or you can make something fast. You decide what to do here. I'm gonna show you the original design. You can make it with the stickers, because there is a lot of, you know, balloon stickers. Um, in my case, what I did is this. I are gonna just make Sharpie and I'm gonna make eyeball here. I know that you can make eyebrows if you want, but I was thinking I'm gonna keep it that part simple because already we make some more complicated stuff. And from here, I'm gonna make a line, you know, in the center of the nose, you see? And then a smiley face. Oh yeah, you can make it big, you can make it small. But that's how I'm doing it. Look. <laughs> and then from here, you can make some cheeks. You can make more bad. I was thinking, why instead of using red sharp before the nose and the heart shape, I don't use one of these $1 uh, in, the in the dollar store. I found this sticker. You know, so I think it's going to be looking good. I'm going to show you and you decide if you want to do that. So I'm, I was thinking to use the red, but it's kind of big, but it's okay. I'm going to use it. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the center and tape it there. And that's kind of the idea. You tell me in the comments, what do you think about this design? Do you like it? I hope you like it. You can always write something here. And the good thing is again, you know, you play with the bubbles here, but you, it's gonna be able to sit and keep, you know, the balance on a table or you know, on a floor, but something, you know, like plain. <laughs> I hope you like, I love this design. I'm super proud of this design. Um, please uh, share it with people that you know love balloons. If you uh, have an Instagram, you can always tag me. My Instagram is Alpaca Global Balloons. And please share because I love to see if you are able to make it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And don't forget, I'm not posting like often, you know, many designs because it's time and ideas and I'm doing other things. But 
I have already a playlist that says Valentine's designs. And there's lots of cool ideas that I already been making in these two years that I have this channel. Thank you so much for all of you that already subscribed to the channel because I, there are more than 5,000 subscribers and I'm super happy about it. It's like 5,100 something. So that's awesome, right? So, ah, oh, and it makes me super happy. People from Spain, from Peru, that's where I'm from. And I know sometimes they say, oh, you have to make it in English or Spanish. But the thing is, the tutorials are more visual. And I noticed that in the whole world, there's more people speaking English than Spanish. You tell me I'm, I'm wrong about it. And it's not like my English is my first language, but I just try. <laughs> I just try. I'm trying to do my best. Well, have a wonderful day. Happy Valentine's. And enjoy the other tutorials. Also, there's a playlist about Easter and different many other playlists. So if you are new in this channel, subscribe to the channel because it's worth it. It's a very good tool, I think, for all you starting doing balloon twisting. And even if you already started, I think you never know. And there's a cool technique coming because it's sometimes, you know, what I, how I feel. Like sometimes it's like a really cool idea. Sometimes it's like, I don't know what to share with you. But I try to do it as soon as I make something so cute like that. It's so cute. Okay. Bye-bye.